Hello guys, you are welcome again to another After Effects Tutorials and today I want to show you how you can create this amazing ring shape transition in Adobe After Effects without the use of any plugin and in a few steps. So support me on this one, do not forget to like the video, hit the subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification, then come back, let's get started. Now in Adobe After Effects, we're going to create a new composition. I'm going to leave the resolution to 1920 by 1080. I'm going to use 30 frames per second and then leave the entire duration to be 10 seconds. Of course, you can name this to whatever you like and then hit OK. We're going to pick the ellipse tool and make sure the fill is set to none and stroke to a color. If you don't have that, you can click here to make your stroke a color. Then you hit OK. So we're going to draw a cycle at the center of the screen. Then you start, you hold down Control and Shift to make sure everything is uniformly drawn. So now this is what we have. First, it is very important to, to have the anchor point at the center of your shape layer. So as you can see right here, the anchor point is not at the center at the moment. So I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to drop the shape layer tool, then select the shape layer, double, hold down control key and double click on this anchor tool that is going to bring the anchor point to the center of the frame. Then we're going to align this to center of course. beautiful so we're going to increase the stroke width until the hole in the center is covered beautiful we're going to hit uu on the keyboard to expand all the option we have on the shape layer you move your time indicator to two seconds forward in time then you see this add button right here click on it go to the option you have here and add a trim path so expand the trim path option and create a keyframe for the end property and also a keyframe for the offset. So we're going to move our time indicator back to one, uh, zero seconds and then set the value of the end property to zero. And we're going to set this offset to negative one. So if you play along now, this is what you have beautiful so we're going to expand the stroke option right here and change the line cap to rounded that is going to give us this then on the stroke width we're going to set a keyframe then we'll move back to zero seconds and reduce the stroke width to about less than 100 so hit you on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes, select all the keyframes, right click on your timeline, go to keyframe assistant, then select easy ease. We're going to select the last keyframes right here, then switch to graph editor and then pull the speed graph like this. Select the shape layer right here, Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it. So we're going to expand all the options again by hitting U, U on the keyboard. So we're going to increase this ellipse part size. So now increase the size until you have it over the first one like this. Then you duplicate it again by Ctrl D on your keyboard expand the options and also increase the size i'm gonna repeat this step to fill in the remaining space so now this is what we have so the next thing we're gonna do now is to Ctrl A on the keyboard to highlight all, hit U to hide all the options. So we're going to rotate this randomly. I'll select the second part 
uh, I will select the second shape layer right here and hit R on my keyboard to reveal the rotations. This is why we needed the anchor point at the center so that we can have the rotation happening right from the center. So we're going to just offset the rotation like this and select the top one and also offset it the same way. Hit R on the keyboard and offset it forward like this. Beautiful. So now this is what we have. Beautiful. So we're going to select all the shape layer. Control Shift C on the keyboard to pre-compose. Make sure you move all attributes to the new composition and name this ring. Then hit OK. So we're going to add a fill effect to this layer. So the next thing we're going to do is duplicate this two more times. So we're going to switch this panel to effects and control and we're going to offset each of these by three frames forward. First of all, zoom in the timeline like this and offset each of these by three frames forward. Double click on the ring composition. We're going to also offset these shape layers by three frames each. Then we're going to go back to our main composition. Then I will select the bottom one right here. Then change the colors. Of course, feel free to set your own color. I'll select the second one and change it to somewhat purple and then hit OK. Then the color of this last one does not really matter. So it is now time to import either our video or images. If you are using images, it's the same thing. If we are also using a video, it's the same thing. But I'm going to use some images that I have. So I will navigate to where I have my images. I'll select from these images right here. Drag and drop it into your composition project manager window. Then drag and drop it to the bottom of your composition right here. So we're going to pull back so that we can scale this. Let's temporarily hide all the rings. So we're going to select the entire shape ring layer like this. And move it by one second forward. So we're going to select the second image and move it right below the top layer. So we're going to set the track mat to alpha mat, the top one. So now if you play back, this is what you're going to have. And this is how you can create a simple yet but unique transition in Adobe After Effects. So we're going to unhide these two. I think we need to unhide it so that the colors will show. Beautiful. So I'm, I will simply change this because of the uh, colors of the pictures. I will change this first ring color. Yes, I need to change that to a brighter color. The green one. I need to change it. So let's shift this. I will need to change it to something like orange. Sometimes depending on the color of your footage, you can even make it white. You see, white is better. White is good. Just feel free to choose your own colors. Beautiful. And this is how you can create a shape ring shape transition in adobe after effect if you learn something new on this video please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section 
and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can support me in any way. You can give me super thanks. Subscribe to my membership. Whatever way you want to support me with, even if you share the video, that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So with whatever way you are able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.